Are you wondering why the Law of Attraction isn't working for you? Are you wondering, why do I keep trying so hard to use the Law of Attraction and nothing seems to work in my favor? By the end of this video, you're going to know exactly how to implement the Law of Attraction and it's going to be working for you. Check it out. Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to Meditation with Chris. I'm Chris and in today's video, I'm showing you exactly how to use the Law of Attraction to your advantage the correct way, the most powerful way that you can take advantage of this, okay? So first off, what is the Law of Attraction? The Law of Attraction is one of the, one of the universal laws that govern this universe that we exist in. It connects to all the other seven laws of the universe, the Law of Mentalism, the Law of Vibration, the Law of Polarity, they all are so divinely and interconnected together, okay? But understand that all is vibration, right? And vibration comes from the Latin vibranem, which means to shake. Vibration nem, which means to shake. So everything is vibrating really, really fast, appearing solidified. All is energy, okay? So the way that the law of attraction works and the way that your reality works is that every single moment you are broadcasting a frequency or a vibration that you are embodying in the now, in the present moment. You always attract whatever it is that you are, never what you want, okay? So basically, life is a blank slate mirror reflecting your internal condition and energetic vibration. Now, what is your vibration? Your vibration is a mix between your thoughts, your feelings, and your actions, which stem from your self-image and your beliefs about reality. Your self-image is the way that you view yourself, which connects to the story that we tell ourselves each and every day. Each and every day we wake up with a story on autopilot. This is the way that my life is. This is the way that reality is. This is the way that I am. And then we have our beliefs, our beliefs about reality. This is the way that reality works. This is the way that love works. This is the way that money works, okay? And based off of your vibration, you are attracting into your experience a reflection of the vibration that you are emitting in the present moment, okay? So that is the Law of Attraction, and it's not that the Law of Attraction hasn't been working for you, it's just that you haven't consciously been using the Law of Attraction in the way that it actually works, okay? So a lot of times we try to think certain thoughts, we try to do certain things to attract certain things into our experience, and yeah, the Law of Attraction definitely will work with you, but it doesn't really speak in English words, it speaks more in the energy dynamic behind what you're feeling in the present moment, okay? The energy that you are embodying in the now, okay? So I got three powerful ways that you can actually use the Law of Attraction to your advantage, three things to implement into your reality today to actually get the Law of Attraction to start working for you. All right, so the first thing I got first for today, the first way, this is what you got to do instead, is to, the first thing that you got to do is feel good within yourself to attract good to you, okay? So many of us, we're trying to attract things from outside of us. We're, try, we're trying to attract things into our experience from out there. But again, I'm here to tell you that there's no out there without in here. That's the law of mentalism. The law of mentalism actually states that in this quantum field that we exist in, your brain is constantly picking up on electromagnetic signals which create the experience that you are having in every moment, okay? So the first thing I got for us for today, the first way that you can start using the law of attraction to your advantage effortlessly, the first thing you got to do is just focus on feeling good within yourself because... The Law of Attraction responds to your emotions, your energetic vibration, how you are feeling in the now, how you are feeling in the present moment. I'm here to tell you that as long as you are feeling good and you are thinking good and you are just being yourself, then guess what? You're going to attract things that resonate with that feeling, with you feeling good, okay? And I always say that the vibration of gratitude literally is the vibration of manifestation. And the more that you feel grateful, the more that you are appreciative for what's already here in the now, in the present moment, the easier it is the easier it's going to be for you to attract things that resonate with the vibration of gratitude. And the, gra the vibration of gratitude literally is the vibration of manifestation. So if you want to attract something into your experience, and a lot of times we're just trying to attract a physical manifestation because we think that it's going to give us something. We think it's, we think it's going to give us a certain feeling. But in reality, it's just an agreement that you've made about reality in the past. But you can actually give yourself permission to feel that way right now before you achieve that thing. And that's actually the main way that you're going to attract that thing. And it's the only way you're going to attract that physical manifestation in the first place is 
you gotta feel it before you see it because you can't get there vibration. You vibrationally just can't get there from a place of lack, from a place of not feeling good, from a place of um, just unalignment with oneself, with who you actually are, okay? So the main way to attract certain things into your experience using the law of attraction is to first just focus on the way that you are feeling and feel good while you're going, while you're running the race. It's all about the journey, so feel good while you're going and you're gonna get a you're gonna get a beautiful and magical experience in your end destination as well, okay? So the first thing that I got for us for today, the first thing you gotta do to start using the law of attraction to your advantage to have it work for you is to feel good within yourself and you'll attract good to you, okay? Now what's the second thing that I got first for today? Before I continue, hop into the comment section below and type Law of Attraction. For ready to start using it to our advantage. Confirm it to yourselves, confirm it to the universe by typing it in the comment section below, all right? Now what's the second thing I got for us for today? The second way to use the Law of Attraction to your advantage. Why it hasn't been working for you? Guess what, it has been working. <laughs> The law of attraction is constantly in effect. It is literally a law of the universe. But here's how we're going to start using it consciously to our advantage so we can start deliberately creating. The second thing you got to do is just give yourself permission to be yourself. Because all the right things will come to you at the right time so long as you are being your true core authentic self. And one of the main ways to attract things that you don't want, and this will happen from a lack of being clear with who you really are. you got to get clear with who you really are and why you really came here. And you can get clues to that by following your passion. Following your passion because when you follow your passion you'll find things that feel good to you and you, when you find things that feel good to you you'll find out who you really are. You'll get clues to who you really are. Right? So the second thing you gotta do is give yourself permission to be yourself because as long as you are being your true core authentic self you're gonna attract the right things that are truly meant for you at the right time when it best serves your highest good. Okay? But one of the main ways to attract things that you don't prefer to attract things that you don't desire, to attract things that you don't want to experience. One of the main ways that you're doing that is by not being yourself, by walking in somebody else's shoes your whole entire life. Right? Because if you are not being your true core authentic self, then you're going to attract things that resonate with the vibration that you are emitting, which won't resonate with who you really are if you're not being yourself. So one of the... And it's so easy. It's so easy. All you're really going to do is just be yourself, unapologetically and you will attract things into your reality that are aligned with who you really are. So that means they're going to be aligned with your desires because you, be, you wouldn't be given a desire if it wasn't meant to be fulfilled. So you're going to start attracting things into your experience based off of who you really are, which will be connected to your desires and will be connected to your success and will be connected to what you really came here to do on the planet, your purpose. Okay. Now the third thing that you got to do to have the law of attraction start working for you the third thing that you want to start doing today, right now, in the present moment, is to just find peace in the now. No matter what your outside looks like, find peace in the now and look forward to what's coming next. And this is the perfect state to be in when you are satisfied and happy in the present moment and have peace in the present moment, yet you're looking forward to what's coming next. That's the perfect state to be in because even if you get yourself that manifestation and you get yourself to that whole new place, guess what? If you weren't appreciating the now, if you weren't appreciating the present moment and what was already there in your present moment and appreciating what's already here, then guess what? Even when you get to that place later on, you're not going to appreciate it. You're going to take it for granted anyways. So the third thing that you got to do to have the law of attraction work for you is to find peace in the now and look forward to what's coming next. And that ties into the first step too. Once you feel good, you attract good. Okay, and I'm here to tell you that you can feel good now and find peace now and then you'll attract things into your experience that resonate with that good feeling. And guess what? You're already feeling good. You're already feeling good anyways. So once you find peace in the now and you feel satisfied in the now and you're eager for what's coming, that is the perfect state to be in because then everything that you are desiring and everything that you are seeking will find its way to you when you are truly ready for it. But you... Think of it like a radio station. You must tune into the frequency of who you really are at 99.8 or else you won't be able to perceive what's happening on that station. Think about it. When you're a few stations away, it might be a little foggy. It might be a little scratchy. You can kind of pick up on what's coming in. But if you want a clear broadcasting signal, you've got to really tune in to the frequency of who you really are. Okay? So that's how to use the law of attraction to your advantage so it starts working for you. 
Leave a thumbs up if you like this video. Make sure you leave a comment on some ways that you use the Law of Attraction. I'd love to hear it in the comment box below. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. You've got tons more stuff coming your way. So excited to share it with you. But other than that, peace and love and namaste. And I'll see you next time. Later.